Right. Do we want Lilith or Cassava? Lilith likes Dark Fire Sacrifice. I like Dark Fire Sacrifice. Let's play Lilith. Let's play some of these. Let's play some Sarlacc. Let's play some Blood Echoes. Let's play a Consuming Rebirth or two. Let's play Dialtas. Uh, Klaxon. Maybe not Klaxon, maybe Vorpal Reaver. Nine Moons is funny. What else is Death Rattle and is, is cheap? Not Death. Oh, we'll leave these. Uh, Night Shroud. Nether Summoning, obviously. Um. What is the Salak skin? Yeah, the, the Salak skin is Salak Prime. Um, I think it was from PAX. I got it from uh, winning the law contest. Well, we did. Well, winning. Two of us won it. Um, there was a law contest where you wrote some law for cards, which I think is eventually going to actually be in the game. Um, we need a curve. We don't have a curve. Um, need more Dying Wish minions. Horror Burster? Meh. What's cheap in his Dying Wish? Sure. 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 Kaleno, so we don't die. And a Shadow Dancer. Alright, so we have loads of healing. And hopefully enough early game so we don't just get ruined. Do you want Gore as well as Sarlacc? Probably do, don't we? Let's cut and Consuming Rebirth for a Gore. It's just something to do. All right, let's do this. Uh, all right, the trick to Law Weaver is to not play more than one. Oh yeah, definitely that. Um, the thing I actually found was I had a couple of games where it was amazing, and then I had a game where it missed eight times in a row on like a 50% chance each time. I was like, oh yeah, this is what it's going to do a certain amount of the time, isn't it? Um, Blood Echoes is pretty garbage when I've tested it out. Yeah, this deck's probably not going to be like tournament viable, but eh. Well, we've got we've got the combo. <laughs> so I like into Blood Echoes, all good. I do like how this protects from Dispel as well. Uh, like you can basically recreate your Sarlacc. Uh, I kind of want to keep one of these in case we draw Darkfire Sacrifice. This draws a card with Blood Echoes. It's kind of technically a curve, right? No, let's replace both of these, because we can try and find, like, a deal test or something. There we go. This is better than Reaper. Oh, I forgot Grimes. Damn it. <laughs> Grimes is so spicy. Yeah, I'll put in Grimes instead of Vorpal Reaver after this, just for the memes. Like, it's going to make one falls instead of... Six one ones, but you know, there's a tiny chance it makes a juggernaut. Oh, come on, that's my job. Well, this sucks. Uh... <laughs> yeah, Sarlacc versus natural selection. Oh, yeah. I was just thinking that. Um, his removal is going to be pretty useless. Also, this, there's no guarantee my opponent's playing Keeper Vath, but like this is a pretty common thing you want to do when you're playing Keeper Vath. Uh, and that deck doesn't tend to run Dispel, so we're in cash, if that is the case. We can also play a Shadow Dancer, like this turn, if my opponent doesn't take this Mana Tile. What's this going to be, a Rage Binder? Kujata, okay, it's not Keeper Vath. So I could just play a Shadow Dancer in the corner. There is a good chance it just dies, though. If we play Dialtas here... Can I Blood Echo straight away? No, I'm one more off. If I Darkfire Sacrifice Dialtas, I can. But I'd rather play the Dialtas somewhere where I can not 
die yet, and then we can play the Shadow Dancer and uh, try and trade with this, with Sarlacc and, and Shadow Dancer or the Dialtas, and then Nether summoning them both back. Because we are going to have to kill this, otherwise it'll just wreck us. Um, all that said, I think... I think we do have to Blood Echoes now, because if we don't... If I just play something, my opponent will simply kill it. Um, and we lose a lot of potential value. Let's replace the Shadow Dancer and look for something more... Okay, so we can we can play all of that. We can't Blood Echoes at the same time. This deck is more difficult to play than I'd anticipated. I have to say. Uh, let's do the funny thing. The anti synergy with Shadow Dancer really is what hurts the card. Oh, with uh, Blood Echoes. That's a good point, actually. Alright, this is really good. So he can kill the Dialtas, which sucks, but um, the Sunsteel Defender has been locked down by the Tombstone. I guess this might draw a natural selection out. Um, yeah, if you play Blood Echoes, it'll kill the Shadow Dancer and it won't trigger, right? Um, yeah, if my opponent's playing Kujatas, they might have Lightbenders. Um, they might have EMP, actually. That would suck. My opponent could just flash EMP here and we lose. <laughs> Unless we draw another um, Blood Echoes to reset everything. This is kind of alright though. My opponent still has to attack this, take 5 and then leave us with a bunch of tombstones if they want to go that route. Um, and we can, Oh, we can just Nether Summoning it as well. The main downside is I can't kill this, so we can't get that back off Nether Summoning. Although I guess we can just get another Sarlacc with it. Ooh, bold. Could see EMP in Starhorn, but not in Vath. Um, uh, I don't know. Could see both. What? Oh, right. On this. Okay. Our opponent has used their removal. It's official. We can, however, kill this next time. I mean, we take a load of damage, but we can kill it. Also, the Kajat is going to die to this. Quite a bold line for my opponent, actually. Okay, the summoning gets back this and Kujata now. Which is probably better than doing anything else we have on this board. Like, these cards are bad. This deck needs more card draw. I mean, it probably needs a lot of things. <laughs> Although what we've got a lot of is Sarlax, and I can't really complain of that. We can just try and hide behind these guys forever. If my opponent doesn't kill me for another few turns. We need some healing, we need some like Kalenos. Yeah, I forgot about this. This is actually fine though. Having body blockers that don't die is reasonable. And we don't have to worry about removal with these on the field. That's a bit scary. Although it's going to get killed by this battle pet. I'm not sure my opponent's noticed that. The other thing is that Shadow Dancer makes Plasma with a field of Sarlaccs feel awful to use. Good point. Intellect present. Hello. Thanks for joining. Good to see you. Hehehe. <laughs> Bye, Rancor. Okay. Uh, no. Yes. Good. Thank God for that. Let's make some Wraithlings and then run away, I guess. Maybe we can... No, this is probably fine. Yes! <laughs> Perfect Wraithling RNG. In that case, let's gain some life. The nice thing about these Sarlax now is that my opponent can't kill this with Egg Morph. He can't kill it with Natural Selection because the Sarlax are in the way. Uh, he can kill it with Plasma Storm, but that takes his entire turn. So the only, only other option is Thumping Wave, and he's used one of those already. 
Um, and then, in the meantime, we're going to gain four health a turn from these Sarlax, who don't care about any of his removal, or his card advantage, or Macanto War Beasts, or whatever. So all I need to do is protect myself, and the Sarlax can chip damage me to victory. Yeah, like, this is basically irrelevant. We killed some Wraithens and a Sarlax. And we can just kill this now, with uh, the remaining Sarlax, and uh, heal away. Oh! That's amazing. I don't want to walk into a Plasma Storm, so maybe I should hold this back and play Night Shroud instead. It's quite a large body blocker. Doesn't get any value, but that doesn't really matter. So we kill this thing, obviously. Make some Wraithlings. Run Kaleido away. I'm gonna replace this guy rather than cast it. Grolems. Oh man. I so I tried are you playing Starhorn for that? For Grolems or for um or buff? Because I tried a Godhammer Starhorn list very briefly and I just really didn't like it. Um I had I had a turn where I played like turn one Rancor, turn two, Maloki Huntress, Blood Tear Alchemist, Godhammer, and Gave him, like, put like seven additional power on the board. But then my opponent killed them and I just had nothing to do. Um, and the anti synergy with. Oh wow, that's a good cancel. Doesn't matter though. <laughs> just dice to Sarlax. Um, yeah, and the anti synergy with tectonic spikes was annoying. Potential misplay there should have moved first in case one of the spawns accidentally body blocked. Um, moved which first? Like one of the Sarlax. You're probably right, I should have moved the one in the corner up first. Because it only had one way of reaching it. I did think that. Uh, right, we can dump... Probably dump this now, actually, I guess. Ooh, that's a good draw. Uh, so I still need to get out the way. I need to protect myself. I'm only on 10, so we could just die next turn. Um, we can... I guess we can play these as body blockers. Kaleno needs to be safe. We could play the other one and risk the Plasma Storm. Not sure I want to do that. But maybe we can... We're gaining... We're not gaining that much life this turn. It'd only be six. It's probably not worth it. Sorry, eight. Compared to four. Um, he can't Mechanto a Thumping Wave yet. And he's used two, two Mechantos and a Thumping already anyway. So I think we're okay to risk it for now. This is another Mercantile bait board position, but it's not, again, it's not too bad. Um, is Swarm Deathwish build good anymore? Um, it's, that's a hard question to answer. So at the moment there's a lot of people playing big AoE spells because of a Golem Xerix deck that's quite popular and quite swarmy. Uh, so Swarm Abyss probably catches some splash damage from that. Um, otherwise, like, it is a powerful preact proactive deck. It's never, like, truly that bad. Um, and yeah, there's some good new jank to play with. Ooh, hello. <laughs> We're gonna have so many Sarlax. It's great. Do you have Soul Grimoire in this deck? No. This, uh, this deck is meant to be a Night Shroud spam deck. It was Thanatos' suggestion. We play Night Shrouds, we play Blood Echoes, Consuming Rebirth, and then we get them all back with Death Snow. What's actually happened is we've just spammed Sarlax instead, and are staying alive by way of this. Um... And it's, that's working pretty well. That's funny as well. Um, okay, now we need to deal with all this stuff. That's actually pretty awkward. Uh, this might be the part where we play the second. Kaleno. So we can't even kill the Lava Slasher, which is a bit unfortunate. In fact, we can't kill either of these without attacking with Kaleno, which might be worth it to get rid of this. Um... Are we dead?
I don't think so. There's probably more we can do. But it's going to be a little close. Um, thumping Elucidator. Good point. Um, I don't think I had a way to body block the general. I only had one minion. Oh, I guess I could play the the Azahorn Shaman. Yeah, I didn't think about thumping Wave Elucidator. Uh, I think we gotta we got to play this other Galeno now. And hope for no Plasma Storm. Kill the Egg. Get the Lava Slasher. Salak plus... There we go. It's not... I can't tell if it's actually going to attack the Egg or not. There we go. Ah! Stupid rope. I spent <laughs> so long trying to get my Salak to attack the Egg that I didn't cast Blood Echoes. So we're on 17, which isn't awful. So Mechanto Thumping comes down now. Does that kill us? 9, 17. No, because of the because the healing when he attacks us. But we can draw a card with the Void Hunter next turn. That's nice. Right, so... Bye-bye, Kalina the first. This is where we hope there isn't a Plasma Storm. Da, da, da. <laughs> that doesn't matter. We have this. I say it doesn't matter. It's funny. Oh, he dispelled himself. That's great. That is a 9-9 in our way. Oh my. So we can play Reaper of the Nine Moons to block here. Hit this Lava Slasher. And then cast uh, Blood Echoes. And hope the Reaper gets something massive. We can play, we can use our Shadow Spawn as well. I think that's what we have to do. Hope he makes something big enough that he can't kill it with his own face. I think we've lost this game. So if, what else can we do? We can get... Um, I guess we can do this first. And see what we get off it. Because we could hit, could hit Mercantor. We don't have to attack the Lava Slasher then. That's bad. Uh... Right, we need something to spawn in front of this rancor. Crap. <laughs> uh, we're not quite dead on board. We go to two, uh, and then possibly win. But we lose to a lot of cards. At least we don't lose to Natural Selection. Or Egg Morph. Or Thumping Wave, actually. So, Or Plasma Storm. So none of the removal kills us. Uh, although Plasma Storm gets close because it removes Kalanos. We go to one. Um, we die to... What else? We die to the third Mechanto, I think. Yeah, we would. My opponent's attacking this, so presumably there's no Mechantor. Hit after Blood Echo, so you heal from Kalina. Oh, if only. That would be great. <laughs> by the way, I love how... I'm pretty sure EMP is basically like a Mega Man boss, right? Or maybe something made by Dr. Robotnik. Like, that skinning animation is great. Thump yes, Thumping Wave is lethal. That's true. I was thinking about removing the minion. And I reminded... It's gonna be a Lava Slasher... So we have lethal, right? No, we're one off. We're not one off. We we have exactly lethal, even if we don't attack with our general, because obviously opponent's on four. But we should be able to heal enough to. Damn it! Uh oh, that's scary. Okay, we don't need more Sarlax. That makes a single Night Shroud, which is one more point of damage, which I think might be enough to win the game. Um. 
So... <laughs> Hit him with this. Is it mechanical? No, that would be too easy. You hit with these. We're now on enough health to not die to him. We play this. He makes one night shroud. And we win. <laughs> Technically, we killed him with death now. You have achieved your wish, Thanatos. <laughs> <laughs>